This is video number eight in our Jefferson Flats series. Uh, in our previous video, I input a bunch of data into my pipe sizing calculator and figured out that my 12 inch concrete pipe is not going to be large enough to service this entire network, or at least uh, some of these longer runs that are carrying a lot of water need to be increased in size. And um, so for example, this pipe right now is a 12 inch concrete pipe. Based on my pipe calculator, I need to increase that to a 15 inch pipe. And if I select that pipe and right click and go to swap part, I do not have any other options besides this 12 inch concrete pipe. Um, that is based on uh, a few videos ago, we created the full parts list. Um, and that full parts list is great, but it does not have all of the sizes that we need. It has all of the different materials available, but it does not create all of the available sizes. So the first thing I have to do is uh, go into my tool space. So on the home tab of your ribbon is this tool space button. I've already got mine open down here. And then we need to go to the settings tab. So make sure you're not in the prospector or the other tabs. Go to the settings tab and navigate down to the pipe network uh, list and then expand the pipe network, expand the parts list. And here is that full catalog that we added last time. And that is the parts list that I'm using for this pipe network. So. Once you expand these categories, find full catalog and then right click and we want to edit that full catalog. So here is the full catalog. So here are all the structures that we added and here are the pipes that we added. And you can see here's my concrete pipe and if I expand that I get this 12 inch concrete pipe is my only option. But if I select this concrete pipe uh, parent group and right click I can add a part size and that's what I want to do I want to add part sizes and I can do that individually I could go through and, and change them individually or I can just click this add all sizes um, so I do want all of the sizes available to me um, I'm not sure what it's going to give me in terms of Manning's coefficients that 0 0.013 is what I used in my pipe calculator but if we have the option to create more stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to add all sizes, click OK, apply, and OK to close the window. And before I do that, you can see all of the available sizes to me here. So I'll click OK. Now, when I select this pipe and right click to swap the part, now I have all of these options available to me. And 15 inch is what I needed based on my pipe sizing calculator. So I can select that, click OK, and now if I go back in just to double check, I'm going to pick this pipe, right click, and look at the pipe properties. And now I should see in the uh, pipe properties, here is my pipe diameter, and it is showing me 15 inches. So, so that worked. And now I can, uh, again, referencing back to my pipe calculator, I see that the uh, the next pipe size I need is an 18 inch pipe from F to D. So the pipe connecting structures F to D needs to be bumped up to an 18 inch pipe. So I'm going to select that, right click, go to swap part, and now I can pick my 18 inch concrete pipe. So that's the process for upsizing your pipes after you have completed your pipe calculator. Uh, and at that point, you're ready to pretty much build out your entire storm network. Uh, we still don't have any solutions here for our outlet locations, um, but again, this is uh, sort of just an exercise in uh, creating the pipe network and doing the surface analysis and all that. Uh, not a true engineering project because we don't have constraints um, in terms of our outlets. We're, we're being real kind of loosey-goosey with, uh, with where we want to send our water. But for the purpose of this class, uh, I think this will be sufficient. So in our next video uh, in this Jefferson Flat series, we will start looking at uh, inputting our uh, 
forced water main and our sanitary network.